In today's video, we're going to review the autobiography of John D. Rockefeller, Random Reminiscence of Men and Events. I decided to pick up this book because I was curious about what John D. Rockefeller said about himself. I have some understanding of what the news always described him as, and an understanding of what history, what the history books say that he was, but I wanted to hear from his voice, from his opinion on who he was. This book was a pretty short book. It, as the title suggests, was a random reminiscence of events, meaning that there wasn't necessarily a common chapter by chapter format, but there was the essence of a single thread running through the story. And I had a couple takeaways that I'd like to share with you today. The first is that there is nothing more valuable than friendship. This is something that John D. Rockefeller said himself, which I find interesting because he was largely considered to be the richest man in America back when he was alive. He would go on to say that relationships and not money were the most important things in life. In John's mind, he wouldn't have succeeded if it weren't for his friends and the collaboration that they all did together in business. Whether you make a lot of money or very little money, I think this is a great point to remember. It's better to have great friends and great relationships than a lot of money. My second takeaway from the book is adapt to succeed and don't be afraid to ask for help. In the early days before John became the oil magnet that he was in his later life, he developed small businesses and small business tendencies through working at various jobs. He borrowed money from his father at a 10% interest rate. His father was his first lender. Later, he would go to borrow from banks and use that as a way to fund his business. At the same time, he was a good borrower. He paid back his debts in a timely fashion. He developed a good relationship and good reputation in business, which ultimately brought him to his success. My last takeaway from the book is don't be afraid to hire competitors if they do good work and they're trustworthy. In business, you have a goal and your competitors have a goal. And if those two goals can align, it can be good for the both of you. Now granted, you would want to be able to trust your competitors with a business sort of arrangement of this nature. But in John's case, he did in fact have one of those moments when he was looking to ship oil across the Great Lakes. He knew a particular great lake shipbuilder who was particularly skilled and was also in the oil refinery business. Now the Standard Oil Company could have gone out on their own and found their own shipbuilders and figured out how to transport the oil. But in sort of a bold and perhaps brash move, John decided to approach his competitor with a proposition that if this competitor could build him a boat that could transport the amount of oil that they needed to transport, he would give him the contract. While his competitor was initially surprised and a little bit turned off by the fact that he was asking him to essentially help his competitor, this particular competitor was a really great shipbuilder and an honest man. And if he didn't choose to build the ship, John could just have found somebody else to build the ship. So at the end of the day, this particular shipbuilder decided to take his contract to various different shipbuilders around the Great Lakes in private and present them with an offer to make a couple of ships that they would bring their offers to his office. Now, John was looking at buying a few dozen ships, but none of the shipbuilders knew that. When all these shipbuilders gathered at this particular gentleman's office to submit their proposals and hopefully get an approval, one by one they were approved. And it was happenstance that they just so happened to enjoy showing one another if they had won a contract, hopefully to laud it over their competitors. But in this case, to all of their chagrin, they had all received a contract. While they were initially shocked, they got a good laugh out of it. John got his ships for transporting oil, and his competitor got a lot of business. I think what's important to remember in all of this is that everyone has a different goal in life and at some points you and your competitors may have goals that line up for one reason or another. Thus if your competitor is someone you can trust and they do good work, it may be of benefit at some point down the road for you two to work together. So those are my takeaways, there's plenty more to glean from the book but I'll let you do that on your own. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video.
Totally.